It's Oscar night. It is. For everyone joining us, this is our first episode. Now the people who are watching, actually when we're watching this later in the week. We'll be one of them. We will know who already won. But at this point, it's, it's all a mystery. Oh, it's all up in the air. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even remember what half the people actually <laughs> were up I. for the awards. I know Ray does though. Ray I know the everything. movies. And I know, I don't know, I, don't know I, I really don't know a lot this year. I want to see all the movies. And on Thursday I decided I'm going to go get the five that I haven't seen. I'm going to go see the five. And that Did didn't you make happen. It? No. no. It was like 10 o'clock at night or I'd have to leave work at one. It just wasn't. I was lazy. That's basically what it was. I don't even know what's not in well, you got uh, Philomena. Did not see it. You've got... Wait, uh, what was that first one? Philomena. Never even heard of it. Uh, you've got. It's about a woman whose uh, child was taken away from her when she was younger, and then she goes on a search to find him in the States. Should have never happened. Along with a journalist. I uh, think I saw a commercial It's like a cute that. little kitschy uh, semi-comedy drama. It's like the Drive Miss Daisy type thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, what else? Gravity. Did Sandra Bullock. It. Good, good movie. Not All as boring say, as the uh, previous make it See, it didn't look boring to me, but if I'm going up in space, if I don't have Bruce Willis, <laughs> if I don't have a soundtrack by Aerosmith, I'm done. Don't worry about it. I'm you not know, going you up there. You got Clooney, but you can just look in his eyes, and that's that's all you get from him are those, Swooning? those beautiful eyes. Swooning. But, uh, this, yeah, you can swoon with Clooney. If, but if he you're swoons gonna... in space, does anybody hear him? <laughs> swoon with the Clooney. Um, and that, that was his re- that was his character. He was a cool character, but all he did He's was always kinda... a cool character. But all he did was swoon. I'm in space. I'm lost in space. Where's Bruce Willis? Doug like Ross you in say. space. Um, <laughs> there was the, the American Hustle, which you saw, Jay. I, that's the only one I actually saw, and right. I was actually a little disappointed in it. All the characters, all the, uh, the actors, the main actors, were nominated for um, Best Actress, Actor, and Supporting... On and that's my post. difference, I'll actually tell you right now, is I actually thought that the acting was superb. Yep. I just thought the script was blah. Twelve Years a Slave. Did not see it. Nope. I did not see that either. I did hear about that one, though. Uh, Captain Phillips. Did that one looked it. It looked cool, though. It looked super cool. It was good. It wasn't Oscar-worthy. Really? I didn't think the last ten minutes with Tom Hanks should have gotten him an Oscar nomination. but He's not did, nominated? To, no. And the taxi driver is, though. The, um, the, guy, that, the guy that played the, the villain. The pirate. I was yeah. gonna say. He was a taxi cut. He's a real, real life. That was what he was doing before. Probably this movie. not now. No, not now. Uh, I love but he was, he was driving a taxi in Seattle. Yeah, I, didn't know that. I love the movie. Started an incredible driver. interview with him on. Uh, heard That's it on. not nominated this it year. Should be. What was? Uh, taxi driver. It was. Taxi driver should point. be nominated every year. Um, I, I lost track of where I was. I don't know what else is nominated. How many movies? Oh, uh, Nebraska, which was a black and white. Did not see it. Yeah, that was see pretty it. good. I it got it at home. It was cute. I mean, it was funny and a good road movie, I guess. That's what I hear more and more though. Huh? Frozen? Frozen? Frozen for animation. Oh, I thought that was one oh, of those. They had a whole like bunch that. of songs, too. Yeah, the, the, the top ones. That will though. take everything as far as what they're nominated for. I think it'll take song and animation, animated movie. Um, watch these turns, Jay. We don't want you falling out. No, that might actually make it more entertaining. All right, <laughs> Jay. All right, so Oscar night. Uh, what else? Um, uh, I don't know. I think we jumped Wolf in. Wolf of Wall Street. I'm, I'm just trying to get yeah, all yeah. these things. Cause, um, Did not see it? I didn't either. But I heard it was good. I had a bunch of customers from my comic store that were actually in it, I'm or in... at least one. Oh, really? I know at least it's... one. He was in actually a lot of the Wolf uh, of major Wall Street. Yeah, a lot of the major scenes. He was just a uh, just a uh, extra, but he was uh, he was in a bunch of it. That's cool. He had, I think, he had a speaking part, but uh, they actually cut it out. So because that's always the way it happens. Yeah. What are you um, speaking since it's Oscar night? What are you wearing, Rick? I, what am I wearing for Oscar night? Well, yeah. I chose my it's Miller time, and only because I'm a fan of the the ABC show with um, Will Arnett. I'm a fan of Miller Lite. Yeah, that's actually the beer. I've never had a Miller. I've had Miller Lite on occasion. I don't know why. This is this uh, this logo. This it's Miller time. Yeah. That catchphrase you just like takes that? me back to my, my to youth, your youth. My youth. Yeah. What are you wearing tonight, there, Jay? I'm wearing uh, Warriors, uh, mainly because that's one of my favorite movies, '70s. If you haven't seen it, definitely get out and see this movie. Actually, the guy who played uh, he's he's the lead gang like warlord. He actually just died a couple of days ago. He uh, did not. He did. Cyrus is dead. And I cannot dig that. Wow. Dexter's dad's in it. He is in that. That's Dexter's right. Dexter's dad is the... He always played oh, a yeah, yeah. greaser guy. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah. He's like the main, one He's of the main guys. Character. And the Man, guy with the bottles. Um, he was somebody, too. He was in a lot of... He was in Fort Fairlane. Yeah, he yep. was great in Fort Fairlane. Yeah. Again, I never... You know, again, this is all prep work that I should learn some of the people's names so I can actually <laughs> tell you, but it gives you people, the viewers, a reason to actually go on your Google and check it out. You gotta yeah. watch the word. Warriors, fantastic. Just a movie from beginning to end. And the cool thing about that is they actually went back 
probably about I want to say about ten years ago, uh, a gay or ago. Ago. And they, <laughs> ten years ago. And ten they years a gay. <laughs> That's the sequel to Twelve Years a Slave, I think. And they actually they re-edited it, um, remastered it, and they actually they wove it together. I don't know if you saw it lately. No. But the way they re-edited it, it almost flows like a comic book. Oh, that's cool. And it's just a completely different style, and I love it. Definitely check that out. What's amazing for me, you go watch that movie like a historical piece and just look how New York City used to be. Yep. Mm. Because it's completely cleaned up now, but you would never go to New York City after watching that movie if you thought it looked True. I actually that. went to New York uh, a couple weeks ago, and I, that's all I thought about was, Warriors, come <laughs> out and play. And it's funny, when they would make movies that had to, you know, it had to be like this destroyed city, this horrible city you would never walk alone in yeah, at es- night, escape they would New go York. to New York and, and make those movies. And, and now totally. it's Disneyland. <laughs> it's true. With six Elmos on the side of the road. I think we should do our own Oscars in a few weeks sure. with, with movies like that, like yeah. timeless movies. It doesn't have to be a specific year. I want some horror in it, man. I horror. love horror, and there's just there's no horror movies in the Oscars, and it's a shame. Um, there's hardly any comedies in the Oscars. Of course too. not, because they don't recognize that. They did recognize Robert Downey Jr. a few uh, years ago with um, Iron Man. No, the uh, Sherlock Holmes. No, no, the other one. Um, where he was... played the black guy playing a white guy. Oh, yes. Tropic Thunder, Tropic one of the Thunder, best yeah. movies in the world. He, and I remember seeing that in the theater, and they don't nominate characters like that. And right. I said, that is an Oscar-worthy performance. It was. And then he got nominated. There's so many people that really didn't even realize that was Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. in the role. Like, wait, no, that wasn't him. Yeah, it was. Even I'm when they took off... playing another dude. <laughs> even when he took off the makeup they did, they were like, no, that's like CGI, right?